Headsmen Killers, Collusion of Nigerians in Diaspora, Threatens to Hurt 23 Billion Naira Annual Remittance, Petitions Buhari, NGF Orders. Collusion of Nigerians in Diaspora Organization draws from Europe, America, Asia, Africa, and others have threatened to hurt annual diaspora remittance worth over 23 billion into the country. In protest against the unprecedented rage, statement made by the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Idris Wasi, last Wednesday. In a four page protest letter, dated March the 14th, 2021, an address to the Speaker, Honorable Femi Gwajibamila, the coalition alleged that the Deputy Speaker statement verified the whole Nigeria in diaspora and putting in doubt to doubt our citizenship, privileges and rights as Nigerians. Copies of the petition was also sent to President Muhammad Buhari, Senate President Ahmad, Ahmed Lawa, Chairman Nigerian Governors Forum, Kayode Fayemi, Chairman Senate Committee on Diaspora Affair, Chairman House Committee on Diaspora Affair, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry, Ministry, Minister of Ministry of State, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Chairman CEO Nigerians in Diaspora Commission, Honorable Abike Ade, Adebara. They maintained that the unfortunate statement from the Deputy Speaker has helped to cause doubt in the heart of Diaspora's community as adds to the genuineness of the federal government's intention towards its Diaspora. We cannot understand up until now, why Honorable Hamed was still a person occupying such a high position in the National Assembly has decided to run down the whole Nigerians and diaspora and the policy of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and diaspora in such a manner at a time like this, when the contribution of the Nigerians and diaspora are highly needed and desired. Such an action and statement are clearly at variance with what we the Nigerians and diaspora are being made to understand and believe by the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are still in shock and total disbelief that everything we, that everything that has been done and achieved in the last 20 years on diaspora engagement is now being rubbished and put in nullifying by the utterance of one single person. The group maintained that Honorable Ahmed was see openly displaced totally ignored the provision of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria that allowed for dual citizenship and with rights and privileges of the diaspora to call on the attention of the federal government on issues of common concern instead of waving himself the opportunity to listen honorable wasil decided to pick up on the whole nigerians and diaspora for attack and questioned their citizenship right and their right to petition the national assembly on issue mutual interest to everyone in Nigeria. In the video clip, he was captured and he said Nigerians in diaspora are interfering and persons of no local stance on issues bordering on Nigerian social economic well-being. He showed without self-remittance the hate and disdain for the Nigerians in diaspora. This is an this is an aflo on our on the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria a very far really showed in his body language occupied by the list of ungraded utterances invoked earnestly in the justifying why nigerians and diaspora cannot protest on their government over any injustice and lack of good governance in essential honorable haminu Oliver Hamed Wasil is telling us out of his abundance ignorance to continue to live in their comfort zone abroad and allow Nigerians to face the facts of what is on ground. What is statement? And Nigerians in diaspora, many such as cash cow, is that how you see us to help plug the holes in the Federal Republic efforts to improve its GDP arrow? And Nigerians in diaspora only useful to help lift millions of Nigerians out of poverty through home remittance, sometimes which is the first place which Nigerians at home run to, a comprehensive social development package. We are therefore wondering if Honorable Amin Idris 
Wasil view and positions are the same as other members of the NAS, that is National Assembly, in the case that 23 billion US dollars yearly remittance, accordance to the World Bank record, foreign direct investment, medical mission, community development program and professional skill transfer, among others that Nigerians and diaspora routinely bring into the economy of Nigeria should also be seen as unwelcoming and a major distraction. We, the Nigerians and diaspora worldwide, Nigerians in Europe, Africa, America, Asia, do is all around totally appeal for to the federal government to look into this immediately. And we are appalled by this statement of the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Ahmed Guasil. His influence, his body language, his facial expression and posture are totally dis disdaining. We are equally disturbed to note that numbers that none of the House members at the preliminary section on that fateful day or group queried what he said. I demanding for reiteration from the unfortunate statement on conditional public apology from the Deputy Speaker and group statement, we would like to state that falling short of the above within 14 days upon the receipt of this letter, we might be compared to take further actions, which might include both not limited to calling out Nigerians in diaspora to withhold further home remittance with immediate effect. Meanwhile, the Deputy Speaker, in a statement signed by his Chief Press Secretary, Kusman Mohammed, who maintained his stand, affirmed that the legal identity of the petitors. Our attention has been drawn and a piece of news items circulating on social media and other conventional media Signing a legislative encounter between Honorable Deputy Speaker Hamed Idris Wasil and another member, Honorable Mark Penunari, on Wednesday, 10th March 2021, with the Deputy Speaker presiding. Let it be categorically stated that the coverage and reporting of the incident have shortly have mostly been told and has been given in political ethnic coalition to an event that was on overwise stretched based on rules of preliminary proceedings. Why it would be why it would have been uneasily to respond to such a show of clear mischief by the mischief makers with malicious intention. It is, however, become imperative to clear the air on the matter in order to educate the ignorant, reassurance and lightning. To state that the record, to set the record straight, it is categorically stand that the flux of the encounter between the Deputy Speaker and the Honorable Mark was on legal identity following that the locus of the petitors are not the whole Nigerians in, in diaspora have the right to petition the house or not. So my dear, this is what is going on. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.